How's it going, YouTube? This is Eli Beaverson Visuals. We are on the road for photo vlog episode number 26. So to make a long story short, I'm going up to Detroit with Dylan here, and uh, basically I'm going to sit in his car while he's at a business meeting for an hour. And then we're going to head into downtown Detroit to shoot for a little while. So yeah, basically I'm driving 10 hours for about four and a half hours of shooting, so... You are not driving. I am driving. That's fair. I'm not driving. I'm glad I'm not driving because it's rainy and moody. So guys, let's go. All right, Dylan's meeting is done, lunch is done. We're now going to do a segment while we drive downtown that I'm going to call Controversial Car Ride Questions. So I reached out to my Instagram followers, tossed it up on my story and said, hey guys, ask us some controversial questions. So we're gonna kind of rapid fire answer a couple of these here. All right, question number one, JPEG or raw, raw, duh, all day, every day. Dylan, what do you Absolutely, got? raw, all day, every day, except if you're Josh Anderson, you can shoot JPEG. <laughs> Yeah, RAW just allows for more flexibility in post processing, which we both enjoy taking advantage of in Lightroom slash Photoshop. Question number two: Thoughts on the seventy to two hundred for portraits? Uh, I'll go all first. I have to st okay, go ahead. So the seventy to two hundred is awesome for portraits. It's very very versatile, and at two hundred mil, everything looks good. Everything. All I have to say is, the person who asked this question, you know who you are, and you know my answer. Yes, the seventy to two hundred is wonderful for portraits, obviously. And we got a few questions about this, our final question. Uh, we got a bunch of them saying, what does cinematic photos mean to you? Um, so we've both kind of been dabbling in the cinematic photo realm for the last uh, month or so. It's hard for me to define. This one's actually tricky to answer. Um, to me, it's almost like a feeling of sometimes kind of emptiness and isolation. And to be completely transparent, a lot of it has to do with the way I color grade the photos. That might not be the right answer, but that's kind of how I feel about it. What do you got, done? So it's all about the scene, like you said about the isolation. It's just taking something that looks normal to everyday people and making it, you know, beyond interesting. And a lot of that is with the color grade and the lighting. But it's taking everyday things and making them interesting. Fair. Well said. All right. We downtown in a few minutes, guys. We had some rain, so it should be nice and moody. Okay, we have successfully made it downtown here in Detroit. Uh, the conditions are nice, kind of soft, even lighting, a little bit of light cloud cover today. So I had the 70 to 200 on here for the first 20, 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna switch to the 50 because I wanna kind of show the architecture here a little bit more. So I'm gonna jump into GoPro mode on the 50 millimeter. I'm, try I'm trying it. Okay, so we are on the drive home. Hopefully we got some good photographs. Um, so what's happening is is this. So neither of us have really been in Detroit much. I've spent some time in Michigan, but not much in southeastern Michigan. And uh, we got on our way, heading south toward Indy. And uh, we then kind of just realized about four and a half hours into the drive. Yeah, about four and a half hours into the drive that somehow we had been going north. So we are in, we're in mid-Michigan somewhere, no idea really where. So that's fun. It's about 10, 20 at night, and we're probably not going to get home till like 3.30ish. So this has turned into quite the adventure, and Dylan is just stress-eating Cheez-Its at this point in time and about ready to smash a coffee.
Yep. So hopefully he stays awake for the rest of this drive. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but uh, Yeah, don't you guys worry. Eli is nice and comfortable. Dylan will drive 15 hours. No as deal. some say, disappointed. But not but surprised. Not surprised. Well, guys, that would just about do it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed some of those photos. Let me know which one you liked best, as always, in the comment section below. I'm pretty psyched on those. I'm excited to drop them on my Instagram at Eli Beaverson Visuals over the upcoming days and weeks ahead. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for plenty more content coming up, and I will see you next time.